Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Majesty. God in heaven living in me. Gentle Savior. Closest friend. With strong deliverer killing and death. Now all within. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell you about this king. I want to tell you about this king. He is awesome. Because if it wasn't for him, I want to tell you I'd be in prison or dead today. I was a criminal running around in the gang, living for myself, doing whatever I wanted. And I made so many enemies. I had people who wanted to come out and kill me. But I want to tell you, Jesus saved me in more ways than one. He changed my life. I heard that message called the gospel for the first time in my life. I made a choice to follow Jesus. He entered into my heart. I was miraculously transformed. Amen. And I had a new life. My sins were forgiven in a moment because of Jesus and his finished work upon the cross 2,000 years ago. It was Jesus who was the reason why I'm alive. It's Jesus who is the reason why I'm not serving time in prison or in and in out of prison. It's Amen. Jesus. He's not a fictitious character. He's real. My life was touched, changed, transformed. 
because of his majesty called Jesus. That word majestic, it is means mighty Amen. than anyone else. God Jesus bless you. is mightier than anyone else. He is the God who created all things. He is the one who is, precedes the Big Bang. He is the one who holds all things together. He is the one who created every atom. He is the reason why you're here on this earth today. Why you're walking today is that name, Jesus. He's the one who at the end of our lives will stand before and give an account for our lives. Because we have a purpose and a reason for existing. To reflect the goodness of God. You know how I sometimes hear people say, Allahu Akbar, they say God is great. And you know what? God is great. It's true. But you ever ask that question or ask an atheist, why is God great? They will ask that question. I want to tell you why God is great. Firstly, God is creator. Secondly, he is good. He is good. Man. In the Hebrew scriptures it says, he is tov, he is good. Every day of creation he is good. All the time and all the time God is good. Hey. God is not just great, he's good. And God is merciful. God is our provider. He's the reason why we exist. And he is holy and righteous. And he is merciful and gracious. He loved the world so much, he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, so that whoever would believe on him would never perish, but have everlasting life. And that's the majesty of Jesus. Ooh. That's why his is the name above every name. Ooh. The Bible declares about him, in the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries. There is no demon that can stand before Jesus. I've seen demons come out of people. I've been seen people set free from evil powers. I've seen miracles, my friend. Because Jesus' name is the name above every name. His name is majesty. The scriptures declare, O oh Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. You know our world is filled with Hollywood idols, with pop star idols. And the women who idolize, the women who are wearing less and less. But our God is clothed. He is clothed with glory and majesty. He is worth worshipping. We are putting people on a pedestal. But only God is worthy of our worship. We're following superstars and football stars who are overpaid and overhyped. They're mere human beings. But the God who put breath in our lungs, he is worthy of all our worship. And because man is separated from God because of sin... God sent his son Jesus, Woo! who lived the life that we should have lived but didn't. He died the death that we should have died. <coughs> he paid for our sin on the cross 2,000 years ago. And he is so majestic, he defeated death itself. My friend was preaching about Jesus and fake Jesus earlier. And every religion has its own take on Jesus. Did you notice that? Every religion has its own idea of Jesus. So I've, I've met people who say he was a magician. Some would say he's a mythical creature. Some say he's a prophet. And indeed he is a prophet and more than a prophet. Everybody has their own idea about Jesus. But my Jesus died on the cross for your sin. My Jesus laid down his life and took it back up again. Amen. My Jesus rose from the dead. And is seated on the right hand of power. Many people have a religion. But where is the power? Because Jesus said to his disciples, it's expedient for you that I go. Because unless I go, I can't send the Spirit. And he did go. And he sent the Spirit. And we've experienced a miracle healing power of Jesus. We've experienced the power of Jesus to set people free from evil spirits, from the things that torment them. The power of Jesus is the name above every name. It is a majestic name. It, this is, we declare, Dalston is the king's land. Hallelujah. Woo! Because Jesus' name is majestic. It is the name above every name on heaven and on earth. He is not simply some cult figure. He is not simply a prophet. He is not simply a mythical person. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the one who has defeated death itself. He triumphed over the enemy, putting them to an open shame. He is the one who still heals the sick today as he did 2,000 years ago. He is still the one breaking chains from people's lives as he did 2,000 years ago. That's my Jesus.